It's your boy Kenny, man, My Fierce Wins Radio, you already know. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to My Fierce Wins right here, right now, live from Philly. We got our boy Kenny. Let's go, man. Yo, what's happening, brother? Not much. It's been a, been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. man. We ain't been on here that long ago, but it always feels like I've been out here just yesterday. Wow. Like I see, but, uh, just here. Definitely. You rocked out in Philly tonight. That's hey, man, we have fun, show. man. Definitely shout out all the fans that came to me. It's definitely into the same. We had some fun. There's a lot of day ones out there. That's what I really like to see instead of a bunch of people sitting there, standing in one spot. Absolutely. So last time we talked, um, we did a phone. My own lane tour was coming yeah. up, and that tour was phenomenal. How was that whole, you know, experience for you? Um, it was dope, man. I think it was my first real touring experience like that with, you know, so many dates, a full tour bus, a full crew, stage production, you know, it was really my first introduction to getting into that game. So from there, man, I was pretty, you know, just learning at that point, really excited. So I feel like now I was able to apply it and learn how to actually use the stage production to end my money wisely. Right. That's a good, you know, good point that you made, because a lot of artists, they do tours, they don't know how to budget it, right? Like, how do you make the great acquisitions to say, this is going to go get us going, yeah. this going to go there? I think you got to figure out what's important, really, to the fans and, and to the show, you know what I'm saying? You find out different things that, you know, you wasted money on that really didn't affect the show and make it that much better. And you figure out how you can put that money for something else that was made the show cool and see how you can enhance just that part, whether it be the TV screens, whether it be the actual stage, you know what I'm saying, setting, whether it be the lights, you know, you figure out what to take out. What to take out. So now, Full Speed Tour, phenomenal show, great album. Uh, going into this project, you know, what kind of a concept were you really going for? Um, you know, with this project, the concept was really the confidence of knowing which direction to go. You know, the full speed came from just knowing, all right, this is where we made it from, from our own lane. This is where we learned from that project. And this is how we're going to, you know, attack it full speed. And, you know, shoot for, you know what I'm saying, the stars with this one as far as, you know, getting over that, that second album hump that people, you know what I'm saying, are scared of. Just really, you know, putting away all the stuff about, you know, Singles and the first project having records from these people and you know, working with these things. So I feel like now we got to play the show cool. Yeah, definitely. Especially with the visuals. Like, it had a lot more visuals for this project. And more, very more cinematic. Is that kind of like what you were trying to go for? Definitely. I feel like we even, you know what I'm saying, saved a lot of records just for visuals. Like, you didn't even get to hear the song until the visuals was out. Like, yeah, certain songs like Blended and Cool Back, where the first time people got the taste of the song was when the video came out. You know, when they saw some type of, uh, we put together all the trailers for Instagram, so it was like, we were previewing songs, right, man? I thought it was a great idea that, you know what I'm saying, we came up with to really preview and trailer records, you know what I'm saying, on Vine and on Instagram, and have people fall in love with those. Because, you know what I'm saying, you look at how Vine and, and these video things, it'll be those six to 15 seconds that people fall in love with the songs, and people can find those and have people already rocking with record for us, you know? Right. And now, you just released the video for Be Real, which is almost at, what is it, really? Right now, just about? Wow. I try not to look at right it, man. But you know what I'm saying? It's definitely up there, it's working, it's moving, but my biggest excitement is that you know, this is a record that I really fought for, from the bottom, you know, through the labels, through all the DJs and fans, I told them, like, this is gonna be the one. And I was excited to really get this video together and it be a visual that is different from anything I've ever done and kind of really, you know, enhance just, you know, just video quality for I'm trying to go get some movie awards, MTV yeah. video awards. You know what I'm saying? Some some stuff where you could really, you know, show that this was a great video, not just because of the song, but actually. Right. And working with Dave Lope on that record, so like that, she's new mm -hmm. to you know the mainstream world, so like that. Right. When you think back to your time, you know, working with artists that you already established, what um. What goes through your mind like to know that you made so much of a pressure? Um, you know what I'm saying? I definitely I think about it all the time and where I've come from and I think about you know, I think that's why I always work with new artists and new producers. I think about where I came from and how, you know, much of a struggle I had. And, you know, it was a point where people were telling me, You're this good, you're this good, but there was no opportunity there, you know what I'm saying? You could do this and do this, but there's still no opportunities. You can have a lot of talent, but it still takes an opportunity to come in front of you. So I feel like for me I try to give people that chance all the time, whether it be the smallest stage, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm bringing somebody from the crowd into freestyle and you know, making a beat. And that, just, that moment I could see how the rest of the show, that kid was, like he was texting all night, like bro, this was it. I got pictures and video on stage. Right. And kid, like that kind of stuff 
can take him, you know what I'm saying, to a point where I don't even know, you know what I'm saying, that he could do that. So when I think about that with just artists and, that are growing, and I go, all right, everyone is on this artist bumper for this certain reason, but everyone's scared to actually work with them, like, how they are as an artist in real life, because some people just have songs that come out. So you know what I'm saying, and they'll be like, oh, we got this accidental hit, we don't really know how to get the studio and actually make, you know, music like that. I feel like it's my job as a producer to be able to go in and, and help out with that, you know what I'm saying, and make those artists better. And then, you know, when they hit, they peak and they grow, you know what I'm saying, they know, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm still getting the features, I'm still getting them looks because they already know how much you're going to And when you think back to your um, time with producers like that, to now being a full fledged, you know, performer, you know, it's still embodying those elements. Like, how does that make you feel like you, know, you went from being a producer to being an artist? And, like, yeah. Uh, sometimes, it, sometimes you know, I look at it as, you know, a great blessing and sometimes it's like, man, I'm cheap. Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Some, I, I listen to music a little differently. I don't approach it the same way as all artists. So I feel like I'm growing more as a rapper, you know what I'm saying, and a producer, which is kind of exciting because I feel like the production thing is what's really so much more important than, you know what I'm saying, these days and ages as far as, like, Having that, like, you could be the dopest rapper in the world, but if your song doesn't, like, you know what I'm saying, the beat's not right, or the quality of the music don't sound right, some people might not even hear it. So I feel like, you know, my first step was getting people to actually respect the music and the sound, and then from there, they gotta just dig deeper into the song and understand the message. Yeah, and that's good that you mentioned quality, because it's a great quality album, which everybody needs Appreciate to that. download, full, full speed. get it, made the project. And before we have you go, since, no, I mentioned like it's an amazing project. What's next for you after the tour? Um, after the tour, man, I just want to get back in the studio, continue working on, you know what I'm saying, just records for myself, records for the team, alumni, that game. I got Brick Baby, Hard Hit, you know, we got Vita Ruler, um, bunch of producers, man, and we just working and trying to get, you know what I'm saying, some new material out there to just have the whole team strive and everything, you know what I'm saying, shut down the spots. But I feel like, from there, you know, getting the fans is more involved in things that I'm into, man. Whether it be like the WWE Eat stuff, that was the PlayStation stuff, you know what I'm saying? What more movies I'm into, yeah. so I'm just getting Thanks so much for the thing. We really appreciate it. Tell everybody where they can all follow me, just in case they don't already. Yeah, yeah. Follow me on Twitter, kid underscore eight, man. Kidding that gang is Instagram, kiddingmusic.com for all the tour dates, man. Come see the show. Now, wait, gotta, gotta tell us. Have you been able to keep count? Because I know you got some more of some tattoos. Yeah, nah, man, I, I still, I've, been, I've gotten probably like two tattoos this year. The last one I got was one on my head, which is right now. They aren't that bad, but you know what I'm saying?